you love games, E3 is the mecca for everything that is gaming. I think the video game industry is always pushing now to bring new technology out, and so it's a great way to see what else is being developed for the future. I think the CRZ is a great car. I mean, it's very groundbreaking in the sense of I think it fits with an E3 in, the, in that it's it's you know taking the reality of, of owning a car and enjoying that, but it's also you know the technology of tomorrow and, and the opportunity of the technology of tomorrow. When the racing games came out, it was it was like a breath of fresh air because I was really into like customizing cars and styling them and fixing them up, and now I had a new avenue, a new way to do it, uh, not with my hands but with a controller. But the great thing about that is. You know, when you're young or even now, you, you might only have one car or two cars unless you're really, really wealthy. And when you get into gaming, you can have every car that you want and you can customize it whichever way you want. And then you can drive it on courses that you might never ever see in your whole life. I would want to drive a CRZ in real life and in the game. You know, the, the great thing about you know, being able to customize in the game, you know the potential that you have before you even get the real car. So a lot of times now, as someone that styles a car or tunes a car, you can get the car in a game, do everything you want, see how it, how it handles, buy it in real life, and then kind of emulate the things that you did in the game and see what worked, what didn't, and then enjoy that you know, from, from a real feel. And you know, it also relates to performance because at the end of the day, you, know, you can gain performance through efficiency. And I think the CRZ embodies that idea that you can have performance through efficiency and have fun.